Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with the FX Market Insight for the 28th of June. Now, yeah, let's just take a look at the uh, majors. The, um, you know, just a bit of a continuation of that sort of drift lower. A lot of the technical, a lot of the major currencies don't have great technical levels at the moment. Kiwi is sort of banging up and down through 68 the figure, but just slightly weaker business confidence numbers yesterday, enough to push it over the edge. Uh, Dolly Yen just continues. It's, it's almost in the two hard bars, just jamming away sideways. Dollar CAD it has completely broken down its correlation with oil. Oil's down at 72.50, uh, and if anything, it's, it's slowly going up. Um, now, let's look at the two big uh, European pairs. Sterling, okay, it's, it's on its knees. It's, you know, it's really struggling at the moment to keep things going. And we do, the only sort of low here is at 130 or one the figure. Okay, it looks like someone's trying to protect a uh, option barrier there. Um, but if I just come back over here, just blow this up for a touch, you'll see the what's on the downside here. It's actually quite, uh, well, it's quite epic because, you know, if it breaks through 131, the figure, I mean, there's no real support level. Of course, you could be sort of drawing a trend line from the lows after the referendum to get, get out of the EU, and then you go to the current level, but that's the exact same level. So really, there's a bit of a double bottom here just in recent times. Um, if anything, you're probably starting to look towards um, pot potential Fibonacci uh, retracements from the low up to the high here, and this may give us a better idea where it's where the key levels are. And as you can see at the moment, there's nothing here. So when you come back in and look at the um, short-term uh, focus here, if I just blow that up, you can see where see how it's just been banging away here for like seven hours. Now this is a, a clear indication to me after. <laughs> You know, 28 years of experience. Looks like there's some sort of option uh, knockout or barrier at 131 the figure. They're doing a good job of keeping it just above or enough away from 131 the figure to stop it, um, you know, dragging down. So someone's trying to push it down. Someone's trying to hold it up. And it really is a battle royale. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. But you know what? I don't have to wait too much. All I'm doing is, you know what? I don't care. If it breaks down through 131 the figure, I'm expecting it to drop 100 points, so I'm just I've just put a stop entry in on the downside here, and that is enough for me to um, you know get get excited enough to put a um, next best trade on. So that's what I'm sort of focused on here at the moment. If you just come down to the next best trades, we've got a uh, the pending order there, uh, just through 131 the figure. Now you don't have to even get over complicated with this because because it's just a, a big round number, right? At the uh, 131 the figure. You don't even have to leave too much on the table. I've just got a stop loss 15 points above. So this is either going to go or it's not. And that's it. You know, I'm sort of thinking it will. And that's where uh, my attention will be. So that's uh, where we are on the majors. If you just come back, sorry, just come back to Euro, it's just sort of drifting light. I mean, we do have major support down here around 115.20. But once again, if that blows through, then we do have uh, clear skies under that. But... You know, it's going to get another sort of 50, 40, 50 points through that level to really get things going. And this week, the way things have been going, it's, it's one of those odd ones. You know, the last week of the month, as I've been saying each day, can get a little bit loose. We are seeing some very strange breakdowns and correlations. You just saw oil and cab. Well, look at the dollar index. It's starting to move higher. And the US 10 years are uh, starting to move a lot lower. So with, uh, with the two years and 10 years, uh, converging sort of with their yields getting very tight you know some are thinking that it's the prediction of a US recession I don't see it I think it's just a clear breakdown of um, all the correlations and everything at the moment there's, there's too many geopolitical issues going around um, for my liking and it's pretty hard to sort of say well what is really happening on the trend front so just coming back through to um, the major data right so this is where you're going to you're going to keep your focus each day looking at the um, the daily analysis snapshot. Um, actually, I haven't really tuned this up, but we're starting to see, technically, once again, there's still some um, clear direction on some of these currencies. Now, that can be enough for a trade, okay? I'm not gonna go in there with a strong sell signal, but if, if you do have the technicals, well then, it's probably worth putting some cash on the technical trade itself. Fundamentally, things aren't uh, looking great. We don't have any direction, and that's sort of probably expected in this last week of the month. So. You know, as you come into next week, you start to look forward, you're going to see US non-farm payrolls, the RBA, a whole range of various things which are going to get us excited. 
Now, as we come into Thursday, Friday's trading, as I said, there's, there's not a hell of a lot. But uh, what we do have is, you know, today, US um, GDP numbers, okay? And then on Friday, you've just got the, uh, the CAD GDP, should be interesting. Uh, Sterling, it's the final GDP number, can, in, can impact. But uh, I think it's a real shame we don't have the Euro CPI today. Any sort of weak data on CPI or data on the Euro, for that matter, will give it some sort of direction. And on the sort of market front, well, we've got pretty clear trading conditions, but we just lack momentum overall. And that's why I've still got the uh, trading conditions as, as a little bit cloudy there. Um, just noting that basically the, the currencies are just drifting at the moment. And that's, you know, the dollar's slowly climbing. That's pr primarily because Euro and um, Sterling are moving lower too, the two key components of that basket. All right, now, just if I come back over to, um, I just want to give you one look as well. Just, just always keep an eye on these uh, yen crosses. They, uh, you know, there's a lot of cash in the yen crosses and just make sure you have a look at these each day. So just having a look across the, um, uh, the, the range. If you have a look at dollar yen, dollar yen has just sort of been banging away here. And that's a little bit indicative of a lot of these pairs, which were just going up and down through the cloud. It's just not getting enough of a run. Obviously, sterling yen running with the weakest sterling. Uh, and oil, I mean, look how far oil's gone up. And CAD yen has, well, it's had a couple of little cracks at the top side, but failing to go. At some stage, that will reconnect, right? What we need is, we need these trade wars to sort themselves out. And that's where dollar yen will give us direction and the rest of them as well. If anything, Kiwi yen looks like the clearest um, pair. It's heading down at the moment below the cloud. So just keep an eye on Kiwi yen. That's, that's probably the most likely cleanest trade on the yen crosses as well. All right, so that's uh, pretty much it, guys. There's uh, not a hell of a lot to do. Just hang in there. This is uh, we're getting close to the end of the um, trading month. Don't forget, we do have month end fixing coming up uh, tomorrow. You may even see some of that... Uh, uh, coming into the London session today, but most of it will probably go through tomorrow. Just keep an eye on these um, pairs. I mean, they are just drifting. There's no like clear, you know, strong US numbers pushing the fundamentals lower. And if anything, US Treasuries suggest that US dollar should be coming off. So, and then, well, if you, if you put that together with the, with the pressure on the downside of the US Treasury yields, um, they may be just buying dollars as a bit of a safe haven. So, uh, a lot of weird things happening just at the moment. It's, it's a long way from ideal trading situations, so just take it easy and wait for the good trades to line up. Have a look at that, um, as I said, have a look at that uh, sterling trade. I mean, I think it is, uh, you know, it's with, with nothing else going on, it's worth putting even a small trade on. As I said, I like the, uh, like the setup, and it does look like someone is protecting um, uh, an option barrier or a knockout or something down there around 131. So usually when they go through, you usually sort of at least get a 20 to 50 point move. Uh, we may even get more. So anyway, I'll set that up with Trendline Trader. We'll see how that goes later on. All right, guys, we'll catch you later in the trade zone. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means, just uh, pipe up and let me know. Cheerio.